Welcome back. You just burped. It. What? Go oh. back down. There's nothing down there. You sure? Yeah, positive. Then what? Then what was? Well, you have to be something. Look, a path. That's nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Ooh, zombie took one for the team. Well, how do we get up there? Uh, right oh. there. Do it. <laughs> Hey, this is where we got that sword. It's where I, it's where I got killed. <laughs> yeah, you got killed. That was straight up unfair, though. Actually, Wait. yeah, yeah, there's a yeah, we're cool. I bet you it's a small block or a health. Small block, good call. All right, go over there. <laughs> Don't fall off for nothing. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't fall off. Yeah, that would suck. Dude, it would. We totally, I totally remembered what we were engaged in conversation about earlier. We were uh, chitty chatting about musical tunes. Oh right, and uh, being nostalgia blind. Cause oh yeah, we're a fucking old. Oh, oh, go down that way, stairs. I don't think. No, you're gonna fall in the gold. Uh, nostalgia blind is one of those. Yeah, it can happen. And it does happen to some people. Some people will get too hard, you know, hung up on the, oh, this game's such a classic. And it, like, they actually are so hung up on how classic it is that it's actually a bad game or a flawed game or, you know, overly hard. Like, you know, Ninja Gaiden. Good game. Super difficult. Probably way too difficult. Yes. Spend your money wisely by throwing it in this deep well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, uh,. Some games clearly hold up to test of time better than others. Oh, ten arrows, that was a waste of time. Don't do it again. Nope. I'm sure we get something if we... Uh, it's probably like a heart shard. Oh, yeah, heart shard. Okay. Not shards. Shard. Yep. But, uh, uh, you know, like... I personally don't like the original Metroid. I think it's good for what it is, for its time. It's a good game. Right. You know, it set up the series, blue blobbly. But... <laughs> blue blobbly. <laughs> but... But on the whole, you know, when I think, when you go, what's a good Metroid game? You're your first and only instinct goes to Super Metroid. Well, that's that's still an, an objective thing. Like, not everyone thinks that <laughs> Super Metroid is awesome. I think that it's fucking no, awesome. That's I'm, one of my fu my favorite games ever outside of, no, like, No, go Mega back up. There was another way you can go for that treasure chest up there, Holmes. I'm pretty sure. I don't maybe. think that well, there was, but I will go up me. there just to humor you. But me. you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, go down. Okay, maybe I was mistaken. I thought we could walk around. But... When, if you were to ask somebody, uh, have you ever heard of a game called, you know, the Metroid series, I guarantee their first thing oh, or is probably going to be Super Metroid. Because that was, that set up a lot of the, the, the key elements in the game. You know, the first, I guess the original Metroid had, you know, things like the Morph Ball and stuff, which was cool. But Super Metroid is the one I think everybody really thinks about because it was more polished you know, more intuitive, all that kind of stuff. And now, you know, every game that's like a Metroid game is like Super Metroid. Clearly. But, you know, I really like the, I like, I really the Prime series. I thought all of those were great. You know, I, I couldn't make it through them. Um, I feel like I need to give them another shot, but... The only one I didn't get to play was uh, 3, because I didn't have a, uh, a Wii. But I played 1 and 2. 2 was way, way too difficult. Yeah, strangely enough, I do have, like, the... Uh, the Wii version of 1, 2, and 3, I think. Oh, dude, yeah. Um, that, that collector's edition yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, think that's, I think that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm making shit up. Burn that tree! Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Burn, uh, burn that tree! Okay, okay, Fucking okay. Fucking burn it. But, uh, um, but I never I never got around to playing it because I bought too many games at once <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of <laughs> forgot about it. That, that happens. Yeah. Like, one was, you know, Prime 1 was awesome. I loved it. Uh, it is kind of easy to get lost. The map... You know, because you're used to being on a 2D plane, all of a sudden you're in a three dimension. It's, you know, the doors ain't linear. You know, there's depth to them, obviously, and it's a little harder to negotiate and navigate. But once you get the hang of it, I thought it was a good game. Two was a little bit ridiculous going, like, if anybody's played it, on spoiler here, you got to go, like, back and forth. Kind of like a Link to the Past, Light World, Dark World, but it's, like, way more involved and convoluted, and it's. A super pain in the ass to get all the keys unlocked to get to the final area. And actually... I think I'm going backwards. I actually... I think you are. I actually had a damn time beating the last boss because for the life of me, I just... Now I'm going backwards. Couldn't get... Like, it just took me forever and I was running out of uh, 
the special like light and dark weapons, and it was just a pain in the neck. But it was still a good game. I liked the experience. I liked the new characters and the hey. enemies and the suits and all that shit. I don't want to interrupt you, but I know that because like I know that you're really getting into this conversation. But we, uh, I'm, it's not my fault. You're lost. We're, no, no, no. It's not that. Um, <laughs> I, I remember where I need to go. I'm just saying you got derailed from your like our original oh. conversation, which was being nostalgia blind, oh, and then you started yeah. going sorry. on your prime tangent. Oh, sorry. Oh, which but, I appreciate your opinion on that. Don't get me wrong. Like it's it's. Uh, well, yeah, they just certain games are you know. For us older chaps and gents, you know, obviously, ooh, he got you in the face. Yeah. Sega and Nintendo were a lot of us cut our teeth on uh, uh, video games and what have you. And you were either one of two households. You were a person that played Sega Genesis, which were you know chumps, or Super Nintendo, who were cool kids. I'm just saying. Obviously, you know where I stand on this. <laughs> but, I, or you're one of those kids who tried to please all your friends and had both. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I understand, like, the younger crowd thinking that us old folk are nostalgia blind whenever we talk, like, uh, positively or even, like, uh, almost to a superior level on, on about the Super Nintendo or whatever. And it was, it was over, like, we're over-romanticizing it a little bit. But at the same time, it's like, it was a very good system. There was a lot of good games for it. And oh, yeah. I and I think it was, uh, the, the part that I missed the most is, again, was the uh, removal of the hand-holding. Like, you had to figure oh, things out for yourself. And that yeah. was, that's what made those games <clears throat> so good. You don't, you and, don't need a 40-minute tutorial to tell you how to jump and duck. Yeah, I mean, we, we weren't afraid to get lost and to explore. And that, that's why I really like the original, like, uh, Legend of Zelda so much because oh, yeah. you can just go anywhere, do anything, and then figure it out, you know? Yeah. Just, I, yeah. I, um, I knew there was a way to get over here. <laughs> uh, but that's what made those games so good is because, again, oh. didn't hold hands, but at the same time, that was also the age of, you know, when the internet wasn't around, too. True. And that definitely, uh, as much as I love my internet, it's, it's definitely taken away something from games. But you you choose to look those things True. up though, because like whenever I was playing the Legend of Zelda, the, the one that's on the 3DS now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. What, uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, someone tell me what that was. Uh, the that. one on the uh, the 3DS, the the re oh the the one when you can scoot on the walls. Yeah. What uh, the fuck is that called? Link. Something Link Between Two Worlds. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, a Link Between Two Worlds. That oh uh, that was a fantastic game like that. It reminded me so much of the original because you just do what you wanted to. And that takes me back. Anyway, um, and you you go searching for mm -hmm. for shit to get into. And I, I've yet to play that, but I hear that uh, mechanic of the, the wall turning into a painting was pretty pretty smooth and pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. I thought it was just going to be a, some stupid gimmick, but they actually did a pretty good job with it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's the same world as, as uh, uh, A Link to the Past, too, so... It's like, like the same kind of universe. Area. Yeah, I mean it's he's pretty dead. much the same like <clears throat> map or whatever. But like yeah. at the same time, like they added to it and they added the idea of going anywhere, doing anything. At that, there's something floating on him. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just missed that about games. <laughs> like, ooh, um, that, that guy was looking for you, cracking the wall. Uh, no, I agree. Like, I don't, I don't say younger, younger generation gamers. You know, nowadays, like, we're talking like this game and this game, all pixels. You know what I mean? Graphically, not not great. But the substance is there. If you like playing games like Legend of Zelda, obviously that's where it's drawn most of its uh, comparisons from. Then you don't you look past it, and then it's kind of you know its own little uh, uniqueness that it is all pixelated and blocks. But like a lot of games, a lot of people, younger generations. These kids, you know, they play their Call of Duties and Titanfall, which looks awesome and it plays awesome. But I personally, I could almost care less about graphics. Well, like, like I, it's getting to the point where, like, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but like it's getting to the point where, like, um, you're, we're getting too real, and that kind of seems like it's defeating the purpose of video games. It's just so, like to losing, your, yeah, world. losing yourself in the in the moment, in the fantasy. And I know that you, Ooh, I, I know that technically it's a fantasy world, even if it's realistic looking. But at the same time, it should take that guy with your book. It makes you seem. It, <laughs> God, I may, I'm. It's hard to say this and play this no. game at the same time. Anyway, um, but like, when it becomes too real, 
It Do you think those will push you out? Takes yeah. away from your the fantasy world. Ah, uh, this is just like that dungeon. <sighs> okay, so I'm I can't talk. I can't even well, speak coherently I, I, like I, while I'm doing this. I'll be your voice. No, I, I know what you're saying. Uh, there is something to be said about it being like, f you know, graphic fidelity being too much. Because I agree, like. Although sometimes I really appreciate it, like Crisis. Crisis looks so good. <laughs> it's true, but if you have if you don't have the rig to play it, then I, it's just you know. Well, I mean, no point on having all those pretty awesomeness. But you know what I'm, you know what I mean. Oh. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but anymore that it's not that bad. Yeah. Um. I bet you those are gonna <laughs> just like that. Um, but. Like I said, like older games, clearly they they were hampered by their graphical limitation, obviously, but made up for it in a lot of gameplay. Like, I'm, let's, <laughs> I'll pick on uh, like Link to the Past. It was a good, colorful sprites, big sprites, awesome game. You know, great mechanics here and there. But, uh, it's one of those guys. Uh, this temple's gonna whip your ass. Oh, don't use the red key. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Or that's just a regular locked door, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, you gotta defeat him. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I'm, I don't know if we can talk about this more. Dude. Well, no, I can talk. I was just saying, just burn okay. his ass. Okay. And you can use your shield to block him. You know. Fuck. Ah. Or just your face. I choose my face. <laughs> Maybe I should hit him with the book. Yeah. Actually, I heard that he's he's one of the hardest ones to get with the book. It's so weird how the bomb just stops him in his tracks. Oop. <laughs> that's awesome. Blood at him. But you know, <coughs> but I, I do enjoy some games. Like one of my one of my favorite games is Earth Defense Force. God, that game runs so shitty. It its limitations, its reach was well beyond what it was capable of doing, and there's just so much slowdown and. Yeah, there's not much depth to that game, but it's so fucking fun for whatever reason. I think it's I think it goes to towards my affinity of liking. Uh, uh, like capture, like collecting things. Oh yeah, like yeah, just loot, loot grabbing and hoarding and all that stuff. I agree. I don't even know why that's fun to me, but I, that's why I fucking love Pokemon. <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably why that game is endeared as long as it has, because it is a. That guy's gonna. Oh man, he's hungry. He's hungry for gorilla. I don't yeah. know. It just, it just, it just depends on what you know. School thought you are. There's people who will just pick and Fuck. do this guy. This guy's gonna whip your ass. Finish your thought. There, there's, there's people who will just, you know, forever in a day complain that this game is, you know, the graphics or not polished enough or the gameplay. It's just everybody has their own little gripes, and it just obviously what school thought. I like enjoy video games. I'll play the bad to the shitty to the great. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad that you like video games because that's what we're doing. But, uh, but I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. it doesn't bother me. Now, if the game is so bad, it's physically broken, like it's unplayable. Like Sonic 06? Uh, which system was that on? Uh, Xbox 360, PS3. You probably never played it. Yeah, I don't think I played that one. It's pretty broken. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if it's so broken, it's you know really hard to play, but yeah, and then it's fine. So we'll continue, we'll pick this conversation up later. After he beats this night. Yeah, maybe we'll have like more coherent thoughts rather than stumbling over ourselves uh, all the time. No. Yeah, we did pretty uh, good. I had to jump at that. Anyway.